If you want to level up and unlock the hottest, highest, and happiest version of yourself, this is the podcast for you. Welcome to today's episode of Hot and Unbothered. beautiful people and welcome back to my podcast. If you are new here, my name is Brianna Gomez and I am your host of Hot and Unbothered, the ultimate podcast for unlocking the hottest, highest, healthiest version of yourself for the girls who are dedicated and committed and determined to glow up their lives, live their dream lives. You are finding this podcast for a reason. So while you're here, subscribe, follow the podcast, lock in because I promise you won't regret it. And if you're determined to unlock the best version of yourself, this is for you. Follow. What are you waiting for? I hope you guys are having a wonderful month so far. I can't believe it's already June. It's summertime. It's among us. And honestly, when I think of summertime throughout the year, it feels so far away. I always feel like, oh, I have so much time to, you know, get my body right, get my mind right, get my side hustles going, make a bucket list, things like that. But summer always comes around so fast every single year. So today we're going to be talking about how to have the best possible summer ever and how to make the most of your summer, romanticize your life, and overall be your hottest, highest, happiest, carefree self this summer because there's no time to waste, guys. Summer is so short. It goes by like that. So I really wanted to make an episode all about summer and how you can have the best one yet. I'm calling this summer the dream girl summer. The phrase hot girl summer, I feel like a lot of people associate with like hoeing around. And so I'm not calling it that. It's a dream girl summer. We are romanticizing everything. We are living life like we are a Pinterest board. We are the main character in our lives. So if you want to learn how to have a dream girl, highest self, Pinterest worthy summer, keep listening. Before we dive into today's episode, you guys know I love to share a podcast review. Today we have one from Abby. She said, I absolutely love your podcast and I've only been listening for less than a week. You are so underrated and hope one day you get the recognition you deserve. I love listening to your soothing voice while working as it helps me stay motivated and push forward. That means so, so much to me. You guys have been giving me an overwhelming amount of support on YouTube and on Spotify, and it seriously means the absolute world to me, and I'm so happy to have you guys part of the hot and unbothered fam. And you guys say that I keep you motivated to keep going, but it's ironic because your comments actually keep me motivated to keep going like if I ever don't feel like recording an episode or filming for you guys like if I'm ever feeling unproductive and kind of in a slump I will read the feedback for my podcast and how much it helps you guys and it seriously drives me to get up and get going so thank you guys your kind words actually make such a difference I read every single comment every single review and it makes my day every time without fail. Anyway, so if you clicked on this video, you want to learn how to have the best summer ever, the glowy goddess Pinterest girl summer. The number one thing in having the best summer ever overall is to romanticize the shit out of your life. Every single thing that you do this summer, make it a whole thing. Live your life like you are in a movie. I feel like the whole reason why summer is such like a big romanticized thing is because of all the shows and movies that we see that romanticize summer so much. You know, think of the summer I turned pretty, anything like that. And also watch these movies and shows as inspiration. Find what your inspiration is going to be for the summertime and kind of, you know, do you want a Miley Stewart summer? Do you want to be living your farm girl connected with nature life? Or do you want a High School Musical 2 Sharpay Evans summer? You know, there's so many options, but definitely start with watching fun summer movies and shows to get you in the spirit for summer. It makes such a difference in setting the vibe and getting you to romanticize yourself as that main character in your own life. Like literally think of your life as a movie, every single thing you do. Even if you are still in school for some reason and you're, you know, doing your homework, like think of yourself as like you're the main character in the movie about to get out for summer. Like it's all going to be worth it in the end. And so by romanticizing your life, I mean like when you wake up in the morning, like wake up like you are a Disney princess, open your windows, sing a little song while making your bed, dance around your bedroom, whatever it takes to set your tone and make you feel like you're looking forward to the little day-to-day things in life that you are already doing but make them fun for you. Make them more enjoyable because summer will go by so fast. So when I tell you every single second counts, it really does. And your morning and night routines, do the face mask, light the candles. If you're going to take a bath, like light some candles, put on a movie, put on a podcast, your favorite song. Or like if you're just driving, you're driving to work, the things that you do every single day, you're sitting in traffic, windows down, blast your summer playlist. That's another thing. Make a summer playlist. That is a huge one and it will set the vibes. So that way, every time you hear those summer songs, you get that nostalgic, like remember 
reminiscent feeling of summer. But you know what I mean? Like hair down, windows down, music up. Like it sounds so cliche when I say it, I'm sorry. But seriously, you can set the vibe for your summer. I can make it feel like it's summer, even when it's not summer. Just by the way, I romanticize my life and the things that I do. Even if you have to clean your room and do your chores. No, you're not slaving away doing chores. You are Cinderella. You are Cinderella and you're getting ready for the ball. You know what I mean? You're not just swimming in the ocean or going to the beach. You are an H2O mermaid. That's another thing. If you live by water, take advantage of that during the summertime because during the wintertime, you will regret the times that you didn't jump in the ocean or go in the pool. Take advantage of the sun. Oh my goodness. If you are not getting out in the sun every single day during summer, you are wasting your days. You know how important vitamin D is? Even if you don't care about getting tan or anything, vitamin D, the sunshine, is so good for your health, for your cortisol levels, for your circadian rhythm. So you need to be getting at least a little bit of sunshine every single day and I promise it will make the biggest difference and not only how you look and how you glow that way, but in your mood so much, your mental health, it makes the biggest difference. Just try it and summer is the time to start. Obviously, don't forget sunscreen or a hat or something. If you're scared of getting sunburned, you don't have to go out when the UV is like peak 10 but you know for a nice little sunset walk or a sunrise that's another thing sunset and sunrise during the summer is so beautiful the sun sets so much later which is so nice also make it a thing with your friends or with yourself it could be a social activity or it's a very therapeutic solo activity like just drive to a lookout point by yourself you know bring your journal listen to your favorite song meditate do some yoga do some stretching do a workout or get a blanket and some hoodies and head out with your friends to the sunset it can be so nice i don't know i live in california so sunset has always been one of my favorite activities that my friends and i do we see the sunset all the time and we just love to sit and talk Walk, eat snacks, play volleyball. Sunset is the perfect activity that is literally free if you don't want to spend any money with your friends or by yourself. It costs nothing to go see the sunset and just sit there and have a good time and enjoy the presence and the beautiful creation that God made that is a sunset. It's so beautiful. While I'm on the topic of the sun, I want you to take advantage of every single day. Take advantage of the sun and the hours of light that we are having because during the winter months, you're not going to have that. So you need to stock up on the sunshine before the seasonal depression hits later on like enjoy it while you can bask in all its glory soak it all up while it's here because it won't be here for long and to do that i want you to try your best to get up and get dressed every single day even if you're not doing anything i'm not saying you have to do a full beat of makeup every single day or you know do your hair put on a crazy outfit but you know change out of your pjs and every single day open your blinds let the light in, like Lana Del Rey says. Change out of your sweats, your dirty clothes, whatever you're wearing, and put on something. Even if it's a different pair of pajamas, even if you want a bed route that day, at least change and see the sun once a day because those summer days where like i spent it all day inside with blinds closed, like in bed, bed rotting all day, doom scrolling, that's no fun. I will not remember those TikToks and those videos that I spent scrolling through the day that I spent rotting away in my bed. Like, I don't want to remember that in my summer. I want to spend those days, you know, getting out in the sunshine, making memories with my friends, finding peace with myself. Whatever it is, is better than bed rotting. I've fallen victim to bed rotting many, many times, but the summer is not the time to do it. Save it for the winter months, but the summer sunshine only comes around once a year, so make the most of it. Like, what are you doing just laying in your bed? Do that later. So take advantage of this light and the warmth that we have. Summer is the perfect opportunity to get out and try new things. I want you guys to practice saying yes. Be a yes person. And I don't mean say yes to things you don't want to do necessarily. Like if all your friends are like, hey, let's go out and get shit face blackout drunk. Like, okay, not necessarily say yes to that. There's a difference between something that you know is a bad idea and then trying something that's out of your comfort zone. So I mean, try things that are out of your comfort zone, but that, you know, might have a good outcome. So yeah, if there's a party that, you know, you might be a little shy to go to, you're a little nervous, now's the time. You're never gonna see these people ever again. Just go. If you have a friend who's like, hey, like wanted to go try surfing with me for the first time, say yes to that. Why not, you know? Or if your friend's like, hey, you know, I got wanna take a last minute trip down to wherever, do it. Why not? Summer is the time to say for the plot. Why not? It's for the plot. Let's just try it. Because if you were the main character in a coming of age summer girl movie, I'm sure she would say yes. Again, want to clarify, there's a difference between peer pressure and doing things that you know are not good for you versus just getting out of your comfort zone and trying something fun and new and exciting. So differentiate the two, but you know what I mean. Trying new things, try a new hobby, go and do an excursion. A few weeks ago, I tried 
parasailing for the first time. Like what the heck? I never even thought I would parasail. I never thought about parasailing and I was scared to do it, but I did it. And it was really fun and peaceful and cool. And I also did jet skiing. Those are things that otherwise, if I didn't do them when the opportunity came up, I probably would have never been able to say that I did it. But now I can say I know how to drive a jet ski and parasail. So, and I know those are things that cost money, but again, it could be a social thing with your friend, a social outing that you know you've never tried before, meeting new people, trying new foods even, developing a new personal clothing style for yourself as well. Like summer is the time to try new aesthetics, new things, new foods, new activities. It is the time to try it. And also the best part about trying a new personal look or style about reinventing yourself, you are not seeing anybody anybody at all because you don't have school so that was my favorite part when i was in school i was actually in high school when COVID hit when the pandemic first happened and it was probably the best thing that could have happened to me regardless of me not getting a graduation which i'm still salty about but it was the perfect opportunity for me to reinvent myself completely that's when i fully started taking social media seriously that's when i developed my own sense of personal style i completely redid my wardrobe i changed my hair i changed literally everything and it was the best thing ever because there were so many things that I wanted to do when I was in school but I was too scared to because I was too scared about what people would think which I have a whole episode about the art of not caring and not caring what other people think and letting go of that outside opinion fear so if there's something that you've been putting off because you've been too scared of what people think summer is the perfect perfect time to do it if you don't do it this summer you literally have zero excuse so if you've been wanting to start social media if you've been wanting to start your podcast if you've been wanting to dye your hair change your makeup or your fashion style if you wanted to start posting your music like the art of that is that you could post whatever you want do whatever you want and you don't have to go to school the next day and see everybody and hear about it and get all that outside opinion it literally doesn't matter. So cut those ties to outside opinion and validation because that's not real during summer. The only validation and opinion that matters during summertime and always is yours. So take this opportunity to try new things. You are in the perfect time to completely reinvent yourself, to rewrite your story and show up as your dream self. And then the best part about that is if you are going back to school or wherever after the summertime, you come back and everyone's like, oh, jaw drop, look at that girl, who is she? She glue up, don't even recognize her, past self, past attachment, past trauma, who is she? We don't know because this girl is glowing and reinvented. So yeah, I think summer is the perfect time for reinvention and I love it. Whatever you've been scared to do and putting off for so long, summer is the perfect time to do it. There's no excuse. There's no school, nothing else. Like just dial in on yourself and do the thing that you've been pushing off and meaning to do for so long. One thing I hate when people say is that they are bored because in my life, boredom truly doesn't exist. There's always something that I know I can be doing. If you get bored, like I could give you guys a list of a hundred things to do when you're bored, if you really wanted to, because personally, I don't get bored because I always have something to do where I can be bettering myself, spending time with myself, spending time with people I love. So if you're bored sitting alone in your room, Think of that as an activity in itself. Alone time is so, so important and valuable. Your time alone is just as important, actually more important than the time you spend with other people. So I want you to treat your time with yourself instead of thinking of it as like a bored, lonely thing. Think of it as you are spending time with your best friend truly because you are your own best friend. If you haven't realized that, you will sooner than later. You are the only person who will show up for yourself every time without fail, no matter what. You can't rely on anyone else for that. So focus on time alone with yourself and get comfortable with getting to know yourself. Value and cherish your alone time because again, once work or school starts up again, you'll never get that alone time back and focus on truly getting to know yourself and building a relationship with yourself. And so by that, I mean journaling, meditation, like don't count doom scrolling on TikTok as alone time with yourself or anything productive or valuable because that is just brainless scrolling. Like you need to sit alone with your thoughts, sing your favorite song, do something creative. Like, I don't know, get a coloring book, find a good self-help book, organize your room, do something. Summer is quite literally the perfect time to invest in yourself. Again, I don't think you really have an excuse because summer is a time where for most people have the most time than they ever will. So take this time to focus on you, glow up, practice self-love, being alone with yourself and deepening and strengthening that relationship with you. Again, practice manifestation, journaling, yoga, working out, literally anything. Also, I think this summer is the perfect time for us to learn how 
to cook. And I don't mean you have to like be crazy master chef, but just like, you know, make your own little breakfast. I love making right now turkey bacon and avocado and eggs or like avocado toast or something. And it's so good and good for you. And I love like romanticizing that even romanticizing things down all the way to your breakfast. Like I put it on a cute little plate and I eat it and it's just so good. And I sit in the sun and enjoy my breakfast while I'm like fueling my body and it's just so good. It's also saving money because I know some people feel like they have to do crazy expensive things during the summertime, but that's actually not true. If you are bored though, get a summer job. Especially if you feel like bored and lonely at home, I think getting a summer job is amazing because not only are you making money, it's a little side hustle, but it's a social aspect as well. More than likely, you are going to meet some great friends at work. All of the jobs that I've had, I've made some of my best friends to this date from like that job, even if I'm not there anymore. Like, I love coworker friendships and I feel like it's a great way to get social and make friends. So if you are looking to like expand your social life, consider getting a little job if you have time for it. Do actual solo activities with yourself. Go on a hike or a walk, you know, in a safe area and let someone know where you're going because you are alone or go watch the sunset or sunrise by yourself. Like I said, take yourself to go get your favorite meal. You know, do these solo activities with yourself as if you were doing them with a friend. Also, finding a hobby that will keep you moving but that you truly do enjoy. So, you know, if working out isn't your thing, going to the gym and lifting heavy weights might not be for everybody but find something that you do enjoy so taking a dance class I think that is an awesome new thing to try and it's always so fun I mean I haven't taken a dance class in years but I would love to you're working out also while you're doing it and you're tricking your brain into thinking you're doing something fun and creative because it is fun and creative but you're also getting your workout in going on walks or hikes with friends yoga classes pilates classes or even at home workout videos like there are these fun like at home cardio dance videos that i used to do and they were fun i'm not gonna lie they were fun and they got me going again i will never ever tell you guys like you need to wake up at 5 a.m and go to the gym and limit your food intake like what i would never say that to you guys like Eat whatever makes you feel best and move your body in however it makes you feel the best. Learning something is also a huge one. So getting a book or researching something even that you've always been interested in. So, you know, holistic nutrition, flowers, history, something that you're actually genuinely interested in because it's important to stimulate your brain even when you're not in school. Take it from me, a girl who has not been in school for years. But the fun part about this is you're not being forced to sit there and listen to some teacher yap about something that you will never use in the future. This is your opportunity to actually learn something new that you will use and value in your day-to-day -day life. Maybe you're super interested in space or deep sea life, anything like that, like learn about it, watch documentaries about it, you know, get a book about it, go to the library. I love learning like random little things about the human body or I'm really into, and this is random, like hormone balance and health because it's something that I struggle with. So I love learning things about that and doing research about that and just finding little nuggets of information that I can use in my day-to-day -day life. So learn something that you enjoy or something that will truly improve your quality of day-to-day -day life. Also like learning a new language, that's so fun. Okay, say you're like me and you have dreams of traveling far and wide to places like Paris. That's not realistic for me right now, and I know it might not be realistic for a lot of us. So don't get bummed out if your Pinterest girl summer, Euro summer, Ibiza, Greece, wherever, Spain, is not happening right now in this moment. But what you can do is one, create your vision boards for that, transport yourself there in your brain, but also you can like learn the language of the place that you want to go. I think that's so fun. Duolingo, sponsor me. This is not sponsored, but I had a phase where I was playing Duolingo like it was a freaking game. I don't know why. I just thought it was so fun and addicting. How cool is learning a new language? It's learning something and then when you go to your dream destination, you'll know how to speak the language. And then you just have this fun fact about you like, oh, I speak Chinese, you know, like what? How cool. And while we're on the topic of this, I want to say stop comparing yourself to everything that you're seeing on social media. Media. I think that summer, while it's the most fun time to get content and take pictures with your friends, it's also a very sensitive time to be scrolling through social media. So overall, we should be limiting our screen time. Like, why are you sitting in bed doom scrolling on your phone? The sun is out. Go to the beach. Go hang out with your friends. Go get in the sun. So one, that's a huge reason why you shouldn't be sitting scrolling on your phone. But it's also a very sensitive time to be consuming media. 
on the internet during the summertime. One thing, obviously like bikini photos, and don't get me wrong, I love seeing girls like slaying their bikini photos at the beach as they should be, and I'm not saying stop that, but I'm saying don't compare yourself to the bodies that you are seeing in your feed. And sometimes it might feel impossible not to. One, remember that even photos and videos can be edited in Photoshop to make them look skinnier or more fit than they actually are. And two, bodies are highly genetic. So if you see a girl with the smallest waist you've ever seen in your life, that doesn't mean she's not eating or she's working out really hard. That could literally be genetic. So don't compare. It's so much easier said than done, but comparison will literally send you over the edge. So please stop comparing. One girl's body, like you don't know if she ate before that, you don't know what her story is. So if you see a girl and you're like, oh my God, she looks so skinny or she looks so good, like no. You don't know her story and it's not the same as yours. So you can't compare your body literally genetically, scientifically to hers because you have different bodily makeup. You know what I mean? So you can see a girl and be like, oh, she's killing it. But so I want you to take out that mindset of like, oh, I wish I looked like that because everyone is so different. Also, women's bodies literally fluctuate every single day of our entire lives. Men are on a 24 seven bodily cycle. We are inconsistent at all times. Throughout the week and the month, we are so up and down and throughout the day, our body and hormone levels are always fluctuating. So remember that. Remember that you might look skinny like a Victoria's Secret model in the morning and then by the end of the night, sometimes I look pregnant and then I'm, you know, 30 weeks into my pregnancy. But you know what? That's life. So you don't know what their story is, what cycle, what phase they're in. Like, you know what I mean? So stop comparing because our bodies are always changing every second of the day and no one expects you to look picture perfect, model photo shoot ready at all times. Remember that social media is a highlight reel only. Who would post a photo of them looking bad? When I take pictures on my Instagram, I am taking hundreds of photos to get like four that I like. You know what I mean? And remember that that person, they probably analyzed that photo so hard. They probably took so many obviously they're going to pick the photo that they look best in. That's the whole point of social media. It's a highlight reel. I don't blame them. But what I'm saying is just because they have one perfect picture of themselves does not mean that's actually what they look like in real life. Of course, they're going to pick the photo that flatters them the most. So you cannot compare someone's picture perfect, posed, possibly edited body to you just standing there being yourself. Like, you know, I bet if you posed and sucked in like that, you would look like that too. So it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Stop comparing. And same thing goes not even with bikini photos, but you know, seeing someone's super fun trip, they are showing the highlight reels. If it seems like they're having the best summer ever and you're not, remember that social media is very often staged and of course they're going to show you the fun points of their life. But just because, you know, they have this cutest photo dump ever and it looks like they're out with their friends and they're eating at the coolest places, wearing the cutest outfits, that doesn't mean that's how every single day of their life is. Again, it's a highlight reel. It's a specifically curated collection of images to show you the best parts of their life because people don't often post the bad parts of their life. So if your life isn't looking as aesthetically pleasing, Pinterest worthy as theirs, neither is theirs. Theirs does not look like that every single day. Just remember that with social media in general, not even just during the summertime, in general, we are only seeing the highlight reel. And if someone is on their huge, like crazy excursion girls trip to Ibiza, think of all the stuff you're not seeing on that trip. Yeah, you're seeing their slay gorgeous photos, but you're not seeing probably all the drama that happened on that trip, all the money that they blew and wasted and that you still saved and that you have chilling in your bank account. You're only seeing the good positive part of their life so you cannot compare. You just can't. It'll drive you insane. Again, I know summer is a very sensitive time for that, so I think it's just a really important reminder that I wanted to give you guys. And so remember this summer, you don't have to spend a shit ton of money and you don't have to go out and do a bunch of crazy, dangerous stuff or live life on the edge. Like you don't have to be going out till five in the morning out at the club. This summer, I want you guys to remember that wholesome fun is still fun. Think of that again wholesome fun is still fun. So just because everyone else's idea of fun might be going out, getting blackout drunk at the bars, that doesn't mean it's yours. Like you don't have to be doing stuff like that every night to have a fun, memorable summer. Actually, in fact, they're not going to remember their summer at all. You know what I mean? Do things that truly fill your heart and give you joy and spend valuable time with people you love or building a relationship with people you love or build a relationship with yourself. Just because it seems like they're going out and living the life, getting wasted, 
they're not even going to remember that. That's not going to benefit them in the long run. And I'm not saying you can't go out and party and have fun. I'm not saying that to each their own. If that's what you want to do, go do it. Like I'm not putting that down at all. I think, you know, I had my crazy party girl phase and I still like to have a drink with my friends and go out like when I want to. But I'm saying you don't need to live a destructive, feral life to enjoy yourself. And that doesn't make you cool either. It doesn't automatically make you cool if you stay in and never go out, but it doesn't make you cool if you are always going out all the time. It's about finding a balance. So that is a huge thing that I've been practicing. Again, even with like eating healthy, if you're trying to eat healthy and go to the gym, it's an 80-20. If you're being so disciplined and on top of it 80% of the time, if you want to go out or if you want to binge a little or have a treat, like that's okay. It's all about balance. I always say everything in moderation. Everything is good in moderation because if you're living a super strict, disciplined life, you won't be happy either, you know? But then on the other hand, if you're living a really careless, messy life, you're not going to love that either in the future looking back at it. So just find a balance. And we also are so young. Right now in this moment, you are the youngest and hottest and most thriving you will ever be. So just enjoy your time. Do things that you know in your heart are right and that you are enjoying and the rest will follow. Oh, also, if you guys want to have a fun summer, highly recommend documenting things with a fun camera. So you can get a cheap like vintage digital camera or those disposable cameras or even a Polaroid camera and bring it. Bring it everywhere with your friends. You can get disposable cameras for like 20, 25 bucks over here. And I love for birthdays and stuff, just having a disposable camera floating around. Like when I'd be at parties and stuff, it would be so fun. And then you get the photos developed and you get them back and you just have these awesome memories of the night through everyone else's perspective. And I'll be like, who even took this photo? Or I don't even remember taking this photo. And it's so fun. So make memories and document them this summer. But also I wanna say, don't obsess over social media and doing everything for the photo. Of course, if you're doing something cool, you wanna capture it on camera, but like get your photos and then be done with it, put the phone away. Like stop spending your time at the beach or outside or even with your friends scrolling through your phone. Do that later on. I want you guys to really, really try to limit your phone screen time this summer because again, save that for the winter months when you're cooped up inside. Yes, take pictures of things for memories, but also prioritize the moment over social media. The worst thing that you could do is be out with your friends like in a moment at the sunset or at a really cool event, party, festival, jet skiing, and you're like, one second, let me post this right now. What, like take the pictures, Post them when you get home or something. You know what I mean? Like time and place for everything. Again, I am all for getting your content in. Remember, I'm a content creator. I get it. But again, prioritizing the moment over the post is very important. Like just try your best to be present in the moment. And as someone who gets very anxious and does a lot of overthinking, try your best to be present in the moment. I would always focus on the future and like the outcome of things but just try your best this summer to live in the moment and enjoy yourself because again, this is the only time you will be in this opportunity right now where you are the youngest and hottest you will ever be. Just enjoy your time and make your memories. Also, embrace your natural beauty this summer. Again, no makeup or limited minimal makeup is the best way to go. If you want to clear your skin this summer, wear less makeup because if you are wearing a full beat and you're sweating and it's hot or you're swimming or whatever, your makeup is going to seep into your pores and then you're gonna break out. Like wearing makeup over time will only make your skin worse. I'm not saying never wear makeup, but if you wanted to try a more natural look or minimal look, focus on that and enhancing your natural beauty. And also during the summertime, when you're tan, you're more confident. Getting used to wearing less makeup actually made me way more confident and comfortable in my own skin and wearing less makeup. So natural makeup, natural hair, like just embrace it. Embrace the summer and your confidence will honestly go up so much. Just try it. Anyway, I believe that wraps up everything for today's episode. If you guys want to keep up with me on my socials, follow me at Brianna Gomez with two Bs on Snapchat. I'm trying to get more girls on there. So please add me on Snapchat, uh, Instagram, TikTok. Also make sure you follow at Hot Unbothered on TikTok and Instagram. I'm going to probably start a Hot and Unbothered chat on my main Instagram. So make sure you add me on there and I'm going to do the little broadcast channel thing, I think. But make sure you follow Hot and Unbothered and me on my socials. You can listen to the podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or you could watch it on YouTube. So make sure you follow me on there. I love you guys so, so much and I'm so grateful for you every single day. And I hope we all have the best summer ever together. Make sure you leave me any episode recommendations down below and I will see you next free day. Love you. Bye. Mwah.